You better run, 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 run. You better run, 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 run. You better run, 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 run and move your legs and have some fun. You better run fast and never slow. You better run fast and never slow. You better run fast and never slow. Give your blood a day to circulate. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. To move your legs and have some fun. You better run and never walk. You better run and never walk. You better run and never walk. It's never too late. Run, run, run. Don't hesitate. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. To move your legs and have some fun. Here is the headline for today. New York legislation could make COVID-19 vaccination mandatory. They say if they do not get enough residents voluntarily to get the shot once it's available, then they have no choice but to make it mandatory. It's kind of like placing a loaded gun at somebody's head. You do it or we'll shoot. You'll take it. Or we'll pull the trigger. You take it, you got no choice but to take it because we're going to make life so miserable for you unless you do what we said. Well, does that sound like something that would be good for you to do if they got to place a gun to your head and tell you to take it or else? Now, if you continue to read the article, it's all about herd immunity. You ever, you ever heard the term before? How many people do we need to... Uh, to immunize, how many percentage of the population would it be needed in order to achieve that herd immunity? First off, that herd immunity is an evil term because people are not cows. you got to realize that. Uh, but, you know, if some of us do act like cattle, you got to watch for the stampede. And it's going to take a lot of people in order to corral these people. And it's going to take a lot of cowboys to get ropes on them and to corral them in order to get that herd immunity. They could be just running to and fro. You're going to have to chase them down. You're going to have to get the stray ones in line, and it's got to be done orderly. And you got to learn how to do it. you got to become a cowboy. Now, what they believe is that you get enough people immunized, protected from that ever-changing virus, then enough of them will, will uh, make this artificial or this creation of protection for all of society, even if some are not protected by the vaccine. That's what they're looking at. Well, welcome to the club. I've been trying to protect people from hell for ages, preaching the gospel, and some of them just won't do it. Now, good luck. Good luck that you can think you can legislate your ideas. You can legislate everything. We'll see how well that goes for you. It sure hasn't been going well for the Christians over millennials of years. Now, as a Christian who has been a studier of the Word of God, especially in prophecy, you might want to get some help from the Bible, especially the part where Jesus rules the nations with a rod of iron. You may have to get tough with people. And uh, I know as good Antichrist, you probably won't take that advice. But, you know, if you're going to if you're going to shape the world, you know, you're going to have some problems. And one of the problem is, is you're trying to coerce people who just might be Christians, who were born of the Spirit of God. And they just may not want to comply. And you're going to have some big problems. You know, the, your daddy, the big Antichrist, is coming. Uh, I call him your daddy. Well, your daddy, when he comes, he's going to have a problem with just two Christians. Just two measly Christians. You would think they're measly, but they're not. You know, if you would try to hurt them, fire would come out of their mouth. Now think of you, poor, poor little Antichrist, little ones, trying to be big, but they're little. Just think of you and how you're, how you're going to handle hundreds and hundreds of spirit-filled 
power, Bible-believing Christians. How are you going to do it? You just might hurt yourself. It's hard to kick against the pricks. Now, as a Christian, I'm really looking forward to conflict. You know, our warfare is spiritual, and we should be always fighting, but sometimes we take a vacation. But, you know, you have really, you have really inspired us to want to fight more. You want to, we want to stand against something, and you're, you're providing that for us, and we just thank you. Thank you. It is hopefully you won't get hurt. But, you know, stay out of our way because Christians, when they come together, they come with the awesomeness power of God. And beware. Beware of what you do. Think really hard before you make any major moves. Now, many of you Christians, you might be thinking right now, I didn't think we are going to go through tribulation. Well, yeah, no, we are. You know, it may not be that seven-year tribulation but christians have been going through tribulation even though you might have been taking a few cat naps we've been fighting we've been fighting against sin and we're seeing god god really moving in our country making it holy again and i can't wait i can't wait to his finished work and then we'll be caught up to meet him in the air caught up in the rapture of the church it's called we can't wait for that. But before that happens, we may have to set an example for those that come after us. That's right. After we're raptured, taken up in the clouds, we're going to have to set an example for them. You know, there is a reason why the Antichrist is saying this in this scripture. Listen to this. Revelation chapter 13 Verse 6, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Now, why pick on us? Why pick on us that are in heaven? You know, why? I can see why you could be against God. You could be against his tabernacle, but them that dwell in heaven. What did we do to you, Antichrist? Well, we set the example, that's what we did. We set the example that we will not take the mark in our day and age, and we don't expect those to be taking the mark in his day and age. That's why we're not taking any kind of mark, whether it's a mark of a vaccine needle or it's any other kind of mark or ID chip. We will not do it. And uh, I can't speak for everyone, but I could tell you most assuredly, I will not comply. I will not take any more vaccines. I will not take their little card that they have to show me when I need my multiple shots. I will not put my trust in the injector needle and that which is in it. Now, my soul isn't in jeopardy if I decide to take the vaccine. It's a choice I make to set the example for the coming, Mark. In the time when I'm gone, people can look back and say, you know, that Larry Zorro guy, we should do what he did. He didn't take any Mark in his day. Why should we? And, uh, you know, some of us may have to give up our lives in order to make this happen by refusing to take a mandated vaccine. Now, some of the things they might do to people, if they don't take their mark, their vaccine, they might give them a big fine, and those fines could get so large that they'll lose their home. But, you know, that will not work for long, because then they'll be finding, especially these governors, will be finding these tents outside their mansions that they live in, and there'll be lots of people living there that used to have homes, and they won't be collecting the revenue that they once collected from these homeowners. There'll just be a lot of property that's empty with nobody dwelling in them, but there'll be a lot more tents in the big cities. There'll be a lot more tents and people living in those tents, and there'll be a lot more excrement on the sidewalks where people, they have to go, they have to go. And uh, I don't know if that's the great way to go about it is to tax your citizens to death for not complying to your little rule. Now, one way, another way would be, well, we'll just make sure that they can't go into the grocery store to buy food. 
Well, well, that's good. That's good for a lot of people, but people are getting to grow their own gardens. You know, and, and uh, there is knowledge out there that helps them do so by growing luscious gardens of food. And not only that, but some people, they scrounge around. They can become more like street people scrounging around for food. And what are you going to do? You can't really lock up every garbage can. Take, take the example from those that live in the city today. They always seem to find food, even though they don't have money to go in to buy it. Now, if you do decide to take the vaccine, and uh, this is not your fight, well, I don't blame you. This may not be the fight for everyone. If you decide to just comply, join in with the crowd, be one of the many, well, you got to look for side effects from the vaccines. That might happen when you first take the shot. When you first take the shot, like pain, swelling, or redness where the shot was given, you know, the mark. And then you'll have mild fever. And you'll, you could have chills and feeling tired with headaches and muscles and joint aches. Now, you would think that would be an indication that maybe you shouldn't take it. You know, if it don't make you feel like Superman, how can it be that good for you? But, you know, what do I know? I don't follow CDC and I don't follow the serpent. Now, it's interesting to note that the first priority for those getting the vaccine will be nursing homes. You know, it's kind of hard to, you know, it's easier to get an old person to give them a shot than say some living, living resistant person that puts up a fight. You know, a lot of them are just not mentally there anymore. And uh, they'll just go, eh, eh, and it's easy to give them the shot. But, you know, it, I'd be considering taking your old folks out of the nursing home right now before they get something that might shorten their life. We just do not know. There are some things that I've heard, horror stories, about what's in that vaccine. I don't know if it's true or not, but I wouldn't take the chance. Not with your beloved old parent. At least you can take them for a couple of weeks when the CDC is in your neighborhood. You might want to consider that. Well, that's it for the news today. Now, if this video does get banned and maybe you wanted to view it again, you should go to Rumble. I have it under Larry Zorrell over at Rumble. It's supposed to be censor-free. Then you can just speak your mind and they won't take it off. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they won't take it off. Now, this is a very disturbing video for many. I know, I know, especially if you're a new Christian, you, you just, you're not ready to make a stand for Jesus. Well, you know, I would just say to you, run. <laughs> start running today, and uh, if they start coming to your house, just run away. You know, sometimes running is good. You know, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And, uh... I would not fault anyone for running, especially if they're a newbie in Christ. It's sad. It's sad, but, you know, we got to, it's sad that I have to shock people into reality that this thing is coming. You know, I had a dream not too long ago, well, maybe it was a couple of years ago, but the, they were shutting down cities and they were making sure that everyone had their mark. And they had these scanners, and they would know whether or not you had your mark. Now, I don't know anything if vaccines had to do with that or not. But it was the, the time in my dream I ran. <laughs> I actually ran, but they caught up with me. And there was an altercation. I was a little rough with this officer, and we kind of wrestled in the plants and but then i woke up well who knows maybe that waking up was the rapture of the church maybe it'll happen at the time you're having your altercation <laughs> i hope so glory to god if you're not saved get saved today call on jesus know that he died on the cross for your sins he was buried three days he rose from the dead 
That's the gospel message. It's your hope that's in Jesus, that he can give you forgiveness of sin. You'll be like one of those that God says, blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. That's how much cleansing you get from the blood of Jesus when he died on the cross. And he can give you new life, forgiveness, and you can be assured that no sin will ever keep you down again. You'll be victorious in Jesus Christ because he is victorious. And you should begin to walk the walk of victory. And uh, just be thanking God all the way. Thank him for your salvation that's in Christ. And become that warrior that God meant you to be. See you later. God bless. Bye now. You better run, 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 run. You better run, 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 run. You better run, 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 run. And move your legs. And have some fun. You better run fast and never slow. You better run fast and never slow. You better run fast and never slow. Give your blood a day to circulate. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. To move your legs and have some fun. You better run and never walk. You better run and never walk. You better run and never walk. It's never too late. Run, run, run. Don't hesitate. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. You gotta run, 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 run. Move your legs and have some fun.